Hello. Hello, hello. For the second <laughs> time. <laughs> We won't, we won't go into that. We, we, we dropped a bit of a clangor, but we only lost about a minute's worth of chat where I asked you if you were, you'd put a, a spritz on. You smelled nice. But Again? I think it should have changed your shirt, wasn't it, Igor? That's it. That's um, it. How are you? I'm really good. How are you doing these days? Are you well? Yeah, yeah. You're looking well. Thank you. Thank you. Here what we are. You, what have you got to tell me? Um, things, are, things are good. Um, busy at the moment. But really, really good. Yeah. Um, things seem to be ramping up with the podcast, which is great. Yeah. Um, um, you tell me otherwise, but we are putting in more hours and everything else into <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And um, you might be feeling it a little bit, but at the same time, still very much encouraged. I to definitely sort feel of like, like we, I definitely feel like we're pushing, pushing ourselves at the minute. I feel yeah. like we've, we've, we, yeah, we have, we've taken on quite, quite a lot mm-hmm. in terms of workload. Mm-hmm. You know, this day that we're spending recording stuff, it's like a day when we would normally be in, you know, doing our editing doing, or other yeah. stuff. And we're not. We've taken time away from that. But I think that's a sign of where our businesses are at and that we can afford to take that time away a yeah. little bit. But it does mean that we've, you know, both of our workloads are pretty full on at the minute. They really are. But, you know, again, it comes back to the, you know, like just believing in the bigger picture, doesn't it? Yeah. Like we believe we've got something that's going to, you know, it's got legs to it. Yeah. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm loving it at the moment, at the, at the fact that, you get to the end of the day and you're like, ah, yes, I'm, I'm knackered, but man, I've worked hard today. Yeah. I've worked hard today. Yeah. And, and we've, just, like, we've learned stuff already. Mm-hmm. You know, like to anybody that's like joining us for the first time, like mm-hmm. obviously first and foremost, welcome. It's like, welcome. Nice, to, <laughs> nice to have you guys here. Two thank minutes you for, in thank you for Thank you for coming on board. And uh, yeah, you know, we're a podcast that is aimed at, what did you say earlier? Empowering creatives and empowering, inspiring, and inspiring creatives. creative entrepreneurs, self-employed businesses. That's the one. And yeah, for selfish reasons as well, we are doing this for ourselves so we yeah. can actually get people that are inspiring us or inspiring well, us from, from afar. The, from the first few guests that we've had on, I've already taken mm-hmm. a, a you know one or two pieces away from each one of those conversations yeah. that I've already feel like I or we have implemented into our business. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, just just off the back of those, just off the back of those conversations. Yeah, you know, so yeah, it, that, it's exciting. I, 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 you know, we've said it all along. I hope that people listening are kind of inspired by those conversations. They're enjoying yeah. it, um, and that we're bringing a bit of value to them. So yeah, let's go. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go. How's it? Before we get into the conversation, how are you though? <laughs> how, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? Um, if I was your therapist, mm-hmm. I'm not. How's things? <laughs> How's the family? They're really good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I feel rather grateful at the moment. Um, we're at sort of stage where things are um, changing and evolving. Zara, our eight-month-year-old, she's she just started crawling. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's it. We're off. <laughs> and she's off, man. Um, it's a completely different stage now. And at the same time, it's lovely to watch. And at the same time, in terms of a family, we, we're we changing things a little bit in terms of our diaries because things are getting rather busier. Yeah. And we're okay with that. It's the whole push and pull, but it's just realizing those things and actually, okay, um, maybe we'll, we won't do this, do this this week because um, things are getting busier or whatever else. So, so yeah, um, things are ramping up. I feel good, rather grateful, family's well. And and yeah, weddings weddings up and like you you in the thick of it? Um, not yet. I've got no. like a couple of weeks, and after that, it'll be bam, 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 bam. All oh, right. So you've got your business belt to come then. Yes. Yes. Ah. Um. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> uh, so so yeah. Um. So far, it has been very spreaded out and yeah. quite nice. Um. But um. After the next two weeks, it will be a bit uh, more pushed. So, yeah, um, but it's all good. We know what's coming. So, yeah. yeah. What about you? No, good. Yeah. Like like we kind of touched on, like, just feel, I feel very busy at the minute. And I do feel like I'm not, not being pushed to my limit. I don't feel like I have a huge amount of time for myself at the moment. Mm. But I'm aware that that is because I've chosen to take things on yeah. that are adding to my workload. Mm-hmm. Which I don't mind doing yeah. if I can see the bigger, if I can see the big picture and I can see the the benefit of doing that. So, mm-hmm. you know, I was doing this podcast, trying to build things with the course, whilst also being, you know, at my bread and butter, which is being a wedding photographer. Mm-hmm. You know, I was taking its toll a little bit, but 
but at the same time i'm loving it like it's great yeah. i'm having a great time the weddings i've been to have been brilliant i've loved it i'm you know enjoying the work that i'm creating and the weddings that i'm going to this project and this process that we're going through is absolutely like just i just i'm so excited for it <laughs> i'm i'm excited for where it's going to go have we talked about merla Yes. Take, yeah, we did, we did in this episode. No, I can't, see, yeah, everything's a bit. Everything's a bit blurry, mate. If I'm honest, this is exactly what I mean. But yeah, we love you. I Merla. don't know what day of the week it is. Um, but yeah, looking forward to getting Merla on board and mm-hmm. getting her up to speed with what we're doing, and then kind of, you know, getting her ideas and bringing her, you know, creativity to the table. Yeah. You know, and and just seeing where this can go and and mm-hmm. how we can grow it. Yeah. Um And I'm looking forward to that another idea conference in Marrakesh that you've told me we're going to have. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, everything's like, everything's really good. Uh, we've got a holiday booked in August and we're going to Zanti for a week and I, I can tell already that I'm going to be ready for that. Yeah. Um, but August for me is a lot quieter this year. I've, I think I've got one wedding in August. It's been, it's been, which is a, it's been weird, hasn't it? Yeah. But it's a real sign of, you know, I suppose the work, I think we're both similar to, I think we're both in a similar sort of position with this, but the work that we've put in over the last five or six years the really hard work Mm -hmm. like graph that we put into our our craft as wedding photographers has kind of paid off a little bit and that it's allowed us to charge more and to shoot less and yeah yeah this is where this podcast was born from because if we were just you know doing volume Mm -hmm. and we weren't pushing ourselves to we weren't pushing each other and and ourselves to to increase our prices yeah we'd just be in the rat race again yeah and we're not you know we're able to explore these yeah projects and ideas because of that really is approach really is it's it's the year that i've I've shot the the least amount and earned the most um especially with the forecast and everything else for 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 the ones that are coming up and and yeah it feels great it really feels great you you you've said it really it allows space really to to invest into things like this so yeah it's only exciting yeah um we just need a sponsor don't we (laughs) (laughs) it'll come yeah that's yeah that's uh a bit further down the line for yeah. now we just want to create content and that's it just engage with you guys and build a bit of a community and an yeah. audience and get people to just enjoy checking yeah. in every week and listen build to what we have to build up podcast muscle and yeah because yeah, we're still figuring it out yeah so what's today's episode Igor boom boom Give boom, boom, a- boom people will love this I, I reckon anyway but I uh, um, Instagram Instagram what's is, <laughs> what is Instagram <laughs> what is Instagram <laughs> Um, Do you remember a time before Instagram? Yes. <laughs> Just tell us. At, at the same time. <laughs> tell us what it was like in 1974. <laughs> Web 1.0. But yeah, um, today's um, episode is very much on how Instagram has impacted our businesses. And is it too late to go all in? Yeah. Okay. And... In some way, <laughs> uh, that that latter part of the question, is it too late to go it, it all in? Um, the answer, no, pr- it's pretty not. clearly, it's, no, it it's really not. isn't. It really, really isn't. But, yeah, as we and go that's through... that's the episode. <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs> so, <laughs> see you later. Ba-da-boom, ba-da-boom. <laughs> great, great, great chatting to you all. Nice Thanks, clickbait. Eagle. It's done. <laughs> Outro. <laughs> so, let's break it down then, mate. Yeah. Let's break it down. How has Instagram positively impacted your business? And let's just go back to that first time, like yeah, you know, like getting into Instagram. And mm-hmm. do you remember like the first post? Uh, I can. It, this, this is exactly what I was going to I go can. for. I can. I remember exactly what it was. Um, I'm trying to think whether Instagram Instagram came up on 2012 or 2008, but it must be 2012 in my mind. But my first post was me being at uni yeah at my desk um at the library desk in fact um doing some graphic design work um going on a lunch break oh okay let's try this instagram thing um downloaded the app and everything else um and <laughs> took took a photo of my tesco value sandwich <laughs> you are with chicken and bacon i remember this very specifically yeah <laughs> You've got to be careful it's, what you say here because so your, your audience are listening. <laughs> and I just remember posting it, um, uh, something like grinding, also grinding you, hard. I also <laughs> thought you were a, a more of a Waitrose kind of guy than a Tesco, but 
things you know, evolve. Things evolve. M and S. You've moved up in the world, haven't you? <laughs> um, it was. I think. I think it was probably around 2012 because I think yeah. I can remember. I remember posting my first photo. I think it was a just of a field down the road with a bit of a sunset. Yeah. And some trees. Yeah. And posting it, not having a clue what I was doing, <laughs> but. Yeah. That was just as I really got into photography, which was 2012. Yeah. It was just as I was getting into this. But it actually took three, probably a good two or three years for it to then really mm. be establish yeah. itself. Yeah. And for it to actually become a platform that you used mm-hmm. regularly. Yeah. Um, and I think we were both relatively early adopters of it. Yeah. Um, I mean, I know we were, you know, I can remember us being in, you know, early Facebook groups and, you know, you see this. It's amazing how some people and some groups of people never change. You know, they are... Reluctant. They do not want to adopt this new, um, whatever it may be, you know, insert, you know, generic social media term here. Yeah. You know, they don't want to adopt it because they've been used to doing, well, I've got to do that now. I've got mm-hmm. to do this now. But I think me and you were both in the mindset of going, no, this is this is good. Yeah. I had a good feeling and we just, you know, got on board. Yeah. And gave it a shot and it, it grew grew from there, really. Yeah. Um. And that that reluctancy as well, um, it, it comes it comes whenever uh, wherever something new comes comes up really, and you always get the early adopters and then people that catch the wave, and then people that are oh, yeah. uh, everybody's doing it, so I'm gonna do it as well, and then <laughs> people that just kind of like see the results and then okay, I might as well do it, but um, the earlier you can go for it, the better, and and I say that. Maybe I say that, <laughs> and I'm thinking now TikTok. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking TikTok, and yeah, we are there. But at the same time, it's not much is happening. But it's kind of happening for yeah. us. Well, I think we, I think and, we've, we've started it, and I think we know that we need to give time to it. Exactly. But we're going to. Um, but all that to say that the reach that's that is in it, it's it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's enormous, and. and I think when anything, when, whenever anything new comes out, like a mm-hmm. new technology or a platform or a part of Instagram, whenever it comes out, you're always going to get people that have want to moan about it. But you, yeah. you kind of have a choice, don't you? Yeah. You either adopt it or you don't. Mm-hmm. And if you don't want to adopt it, that's fine. Yeah. But don't moan about it either. That's it. You know. Especially when the app is free. Yeah. Oh, God, without that. <laughs> and it brings you traffic and you yeah. can monetize it. Like... Uh, I think for us, I think we're both of a mindset of, I know we're always open to new ideas and to mm-hmm. new methods. And this comes back right, for me, it goes right back to that first business I had where I think I touched on it in the, one of the very early episodes about not recognizing that the landscape had shifted. Mm. And here's the thing, you know, things are always moving and evolving and changing. You either accept it and you get on the ride and just embrace whatever technology has come out and yep. move with the times. Mm-hmm. Or you don't, and you just become, is the term dinosaur a bit offensive? Yeah, no. You become a bit of a dinosaur. Yeah. You know, things are always going to be changing. The landscape always moves. Yeah. But good marketeers, which we are as, as businesses and brands, have to adapt and embrace the current landscape. Yeah. Simple yeah. as. Completely agree. And I think that you are, are, are the perfect example of that sort of like evolution. So Instagram over, over the past year or so has, uh, they self-admit that they have moved on from being a photo sharing app to actually a video sharing app. That's, yeah. that's what they are now. And... Well, like multimedia, isn't it? Yeah. Really? Cause yeah. It's not just video, but yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so... Um, how have you found sort of like that transition of um, not just simply sharing photos, 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 sh- sharing yourself and what you think, but also creating that as a video format? And how's that experience been? Um, okay, well, there's a lot to unpick there, isn't there? That's a big. <laughs> that's a, a a big open question. I suppose, yeah. like for me, the, the great the great thing with Instagram is it is it isn't. It is the only app out there that I know of mm-hmm. that embraces a, just a multitude of content and communication methods. Mm-hmm. It's like no other. You know, there are other apps and programs out there that do yeah. great things in as a standalone object. Yeah. But Instagram does a bit of all of those and it brings it all together under one it's app. It's all-encompassive, it really you know, is. It's, it can host your portfolio. You can communicate with clients. You can... 
you know, show videos, behind the scenes stuff. You can Set engage with audiences. You can automate. You can go live and speak to people. Yeah, you, you know, I mean, really, it's endless. Mm-hmm. The, the 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 volume of um, content creation tools that are in Instagram really is quite it's yeah. quite staggering. It is ridiculous. And this is something we could talk about a bit more in, in in more detail shortly. But I suppose if you look at the landscape at the moment, you know, a common tr- a common thread is that people go, oh, "Do I have to do reels?" Do I have to do reels? And if if you look at Instagram and think that's how you're going to succeed is by just having to do reels, mm-hmm. you're missing a trick. Like, that's not what it's about for yeah. me. Like reels is just one very small component of Instagram, and mm-hmm. and actually what you should be embracing is the diversity of content that you can pr- mm. that you can promote. Preach it. Like that is it. It's about it's about posting a few photos and then showing a bit of behind the scenes on your story and then showing a photo on your story to doing a poll to messaging a group of people that you're in and, and mm-hmm. to communicating with a bride and groom in it and send sharing content with suppliers through it you know it, it's about doing all of those little things yep. and just accepting that this is a platform that has you know can be hugely potential for your business yeah it really is because you are able to bring all of those sort of aspects of your business really to the forefront yeah. Um, yeah, we, we talked about this in in the prep sorry i jumped on, jumped no, no, on no. you then we talked about it in the prep about how you know instagram has almost sort of devalued the importance of a website now <laughs> yeah. which is astonishing really yeah I, i've been to weddings before and met you know hair and makeup artists and they don't even have websites yeah. it's all on yeah. instagram because instagram is where it's at for them they've you know they can host their images they contact forms, mm-hmm. you know, they're, um, you know. Inquiries come inquiries from where? Through, like, <laughs> you put your portfolio there, inquiries come from there, booking comes from there. Um, even at, to the point of some other, other e-commerce sort of um, businesses, you can you can sell things through it. Yeah. It's, it's that ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know if that kind of went away from the question that you asked. I, I, I suppose in terms of, how it's worked for my business and when i look at i don't even think i do particular i I don't think i've done anything particularly staggering on it i don't feel like you know my following my follower levels okay but Mm -hmm. it's it's a drop in the ocean compared to some accounts um i think one thing that i've always tried to do and that i think i've done relatively well at is just showing up and being consistent yeah um you know i might have the odd day where i don't post anything or whatever but i'm generally back on it and I, i have this kind of this drip feed approach to it mm-hmm. where it's i don't go all in for a week and then you don't see me for two <laughs> yeah it's like no okay i'll just yeah. i'll just check i'm in definitely more thing. like that <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> but you know that's that's how that's worked for me recently yeah. and um you know it's time consuming it just it takes effort mm-hmm. but that's the world we live in you don't there's no there's no there's no marketing tool out there that's that brings you the rewards and success that instagram can bring you without taking up some of your time yeah but it's there if you want it um i think in terms of doing videos i think that's kind of, it's definitely coincided with me filming more content and yeah. obviously you know i don't think from a reels point of view I've, I've tried to kind of keep it to the content that i produce in the studio mm-hmm. rather than what's the what's the word i'm looking for like quick and easy just on my mobile phone content yeah yeah i've i haven't really embraced that yeah you know you won't see me finger pointing to music on <laughs> and dancing on the screen you're just not going to see that because that's not my that's not my brand it's not my oh what's his name what's his name yeah. hold on is it gary is it gary the guy uh, <laughs> the guy with the magazine that you had what are we on about the, the, the peak fruit on <laughs> one of your one of your reels you had you had oh this brian picture. is it brian i think it's brian, <laughs> brian yeah. there yeah. we go <laughs> yeah brian <laughs> Um, more of Brian, please. Yeah, I can more do more of, of that. For you. I can do more of that. But yeah, I think it's just uh, because obviously part of my business has now become, you know, educational, and you know, I'm obviously in the studio to create content. Mm-hmm. It's allowed me to kind of be able to slice some of that up for Instagram, which has been great. It's been yeah. a great way of producing video. But mm-hmm. even just picking up my phone and talking to my camera, my yeah. story, you know, has been massive for me. Yeah, that's really opened up. It's allowed people to see into my business into my Mm -hmm. world and i think that's really for me that is the overriding power of instagram is that yeah it's a portal for people for consumers to come into your space and your sphere and go okay what's this guy or girl about what do Mm -hmm. they do 
yeah especially within within our industry i think that um at least the bts of a wedding is sort of like the bare minimum that we should be doing oh, in yeah. terms of I mean, like takes nothing what we actually like, show yeah to take a photo of the venue and it should be the bare someone. minimum yeah because um the results that you can get from that in terms of um meeting meeting suppliers as you were saying and then having those tags and just just setting a, a specific impact and rapport with those yeah. people and then be able to c- carry on that the report um online it's it's crucial really mm. so so yeah well, i can remember when when we first met each other and we were you know you'd post a photo to insta uh, to facebook you know there was that time when all of a sudden overnight you could see that that reach had just gone off a cliff mm-hmm. you know you could post a photo and get a reach of you know four or five thousand people mm-hmm. i mean you didn't know who those four or five thousand people were yeah facebook just told you it had reached 5,000 people. Whereas, but but now, Instagram has really opened up, for me, for me anyway, it feels like it's really opened up our businesses to a worldwide market. Yeah. In in a way that has never been seen before. Mm-hmm. Yeah, even, even a, yeah, more than Google has really. Yeah. It's endlessly you know. really, the way that you can target things and, and really see what's happening, see the numbers and... Yeah. Um, there's no excuses. <laughs> no, no. But again, it comes down to, you know, if you're if you're crazy busy and you don't have time mm-hmm. to spend on your marketing, then that's fine. Don't yeah. do not do it. Yeah. But what grinds my gears is people that moan about, <laughs> moan about not being busy and then yeah. moan about having to do reels on Instagram. Yeah. It's like, it's one or the other. Mm-hmm. So what about you? How's your... Do you... Can you... What, what's it like when you reflect on that time before Instagram and then how kind of instagram has grown and developed for you i think as a, bi- as a business i think especially for for the sort of like traveling traveling thing that that was like a game changer for me um being all i'd say better the whole bts side of it yeah that was a massive game changer but we're really really um where i saw a, a massive change and i don't tend to do them as much these days but i used to sort of like do a lot of bts at weddings and and the following day well let's say it like this just record as much as i could on my phone literally um throughout the day you taking a shot and everything else and, and little snippets they were brilliant yeah, yeah. i can remember you doing those and be like wow this is and and this literally stuff. the following day just literally drop it and they, they were literally reels that's that's yeah. literally what they were and then swishing you up up, up and I down mean, you're basically saying you were ahead of <laughs> ahead of everybody else with that in you? some ways and yeah. and it's and it's that to prove it really because you can you can you can backdate it really and they're all up there but um all to say that that really really made me uh I would have so many conversations with couples about we are so looking forward to um, what you're going to do <laughs> with our weddings, and, and they're not talking about the photos; they're talking about the the little swishy Behind things. The scene <laughs> footage, yeah, yeah, that's it. So, so yeah, um, that was brilliant, and yeah, I need to do more of that, really, especially with reels now. So, yeah, yeah, but it makes it kind of gives those couples that were that were booking you and seeing that it kind of gives them you know they get to see the photo and the end product, mm-hmm. but it makes it feel more real when mm-hmm. they can just see that kind of raw footage yeah that's it and and it's quite yeah and I actually want to make it like that literally as you said that raw footage and make it a bit less polished and just, yeah, just let go yeah just let go and actually just do it so yeah but um question for you how has instant impacted your business positively you go <laughs> I've got something exciting to tell you. <laughs> and no, it's not that I've watched Interstellar. I have, you know I watched Interstellar. Yes, I've got yes, something, I've got something yes. better than that. What, so have you, yeah. what have you bought me? I've not bought you anything. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. This is going to be disappointing already, isn't it? We've got, we've got our first sponsor. Whoa. First sponsor. No way. Yeah way. No way. Yeah way. Okay. Tell me more. Studio Ninja. Woohoo! They have... They have, they're on board. Boom. They like, they like the pods. They like what we're doing. Yep. And they've reached out to say, can we do something? So That's amazing. We were talking about Studio I, Ninja the other day, chat, weren't we? Yeah, a few days ago. I said <laughs> we talked about Studio Ninja. How, I was like, how did that conversation go? <laughs> it went along the lines of, hey, Igor, do you use Studio Ninja? And, and I went, said, uh, no. <laughs> and in fact, the question was, so how, 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 do, you, how do you manage your, your, your clients? And I said, um, I just add them to my apple calendar <laughs> i'm like who is this guy <laughs> like who d- what are you doing 
Like we talk about this all the time about <laughs> running an efficient business and when you are manually doing anything in your business, yeah. and this is this is like me telling you about why mm-hmm. you, why I love and live by Shooting Ninja as a, as a as a product yeah. and a service. Like I don't have to do any of that. It's all automated. Yeah. You know, so when an inquiry comes in, it's already in my calendar. Yeah. Automatically in my calendar. I've already got the email response going out. Yeah. I haven't got to pre format any emails. You know, if they book me, yep. it sends an invoice. It chases the up the invoice. It sends out a contract. It's literally all under one portal, all one hub. <laughs> yeah, and cause... you're not utilising any of that. <laughs> you are an absolute fool. <laughs> I did. I did feel a bit like, hmm, maybe I'm missing something out here. When you asked me, so how do you invoice your client? Um, I just go and do it. But um, do you do it manually then? And, no. Uh, and I'm like. Yeah, um, but you uh, no, do it automatically. No, no, it does it automatically, yeah. Which is amazing. So even like six weeks out from the wedding, it will automatically trigger my final invoice due email. Yeah. Which has got their invoices And you've got reminders as well. Uh, it's got reminders, yeah, but it will automatically send... I won't have to go into the system. It automatically sends it on a it's date ridiculous. triggered by the system six weeks before the wedding. Here's your invoice. Here's a link to the questionnaire that Sam needs. So fill it out and let's sort out a Zoom call. Hmm. I think, you know, I, think I need just, to have a sit down. That's, that's barely scratching the surface. Yeah. So we need to sit down together, me and you, and, and set you up with Studio Ninja. Yeah, because um, it sounds amazing. You get a month free when you sign up anyway, mm-hmm. but they've very kindly given us a code for anybody listening and watching this for six months free Bing. on your first year of subscription. No brainer. So if you just type in another idea, yeah, that'll get you six months free. Um, so I'm joining, clearly. So you, d- you definitely are <laughs> amazing. So thank you very much to Studio Ninja for, for getting on board. Boom, boom, pow. Let's get effective. So I think, I think, I think I kind of already touched on it already, but I think just the increase in kind of the amount of eyeballs that you can get on your business is mm-hmm. huge. Um, you know, if you do it right and you have this kind of this consistent approach to Instagram and just accept that you're in this for the long run. Yeah. It's not, a, it's not, there's no quick wins to any of this. It's mm-hmm. a, it's a long term game that you can really increase your reach and your, you know, the, just the, the people that can see, they can, people can find you from all over the world now if you create the right kind of content mm-hmm. and you're an early adopter to, you know, the, these ideas that the, there's, no, there's no boundaries. Yeah. There are no borders anymore. Um, but I think as, as somebody, or as, as, people, as businessmen that are, you know, um, at the end of the day, we're marketeers, right? You know, we're here to market our business and our brands. And I think what Instagram has done for me, that's, that's I probably wouldn't have thought of straight away. It's, it's, it's been through the process of me and you talking about this episode and thinking yeah. about what, what's going to come from it, is that it's made me become more, more of a creative marketeer. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. made me try and think outside of the box a little bit, rather than just a, the classic, take a photo, post it, take a photo, post it, take a photo, post it. I've had to think about how else I can kind of create that content yeah. and, and I'm still not I'm still not doing it that yeah. I'm still not doing every part as, as well as I want to there are still you know, I'd like to get a bit more behind the scenes footage of me working and mm-hmm. I'm finding it hard to create that because I know some people do it and I know some people do it really well yeah. I find it hard to go to a wedding and, and do that and create that content because I'm I'm so consumed with the wedding that yeah. to separate myself and just go I'm just going to take some content for Instagram Yeah, I find it mentally jarring yeah but i think a lot of people kind of relate to that yeah you and i remember us having a conversation about this a while ago um but in my mind i I see it as part of the job it's just part of the job really yeah yeah Yeah. so you kind of and having that mentality just makes you makes you move on to the to the point of yeah okay i gotta do it because it's part of my job to create content really for for my business really so so yeah you look at any you know you look at any corporation or business it doesn't i don't care where or who they are mm-hmm. they've all got a marketing department yeah or a pr <laughs> department yeah and th- and they have to because without it you don't make any sales you don't get any new business you don't you know keep your you don't gain you know you don't have customer retention you don't mm-hmm. you know all of those things anything to do with sales or customers goes out the window if you don't have yeah. any marketing and i think actually that's one thing that again just to kind of go off slightly is that's been really positive for me is that it you know whenever people go on about they don't like selling or they don't like you know the hard sell kind of thing well mm-hmm. 
if you can kind of let people into your wor- world and kind of let them see what you're about, this, the selling thing kind of goes it's, out the it's window. It's not selling. <laughs> it isn't selling. It's just, you know, letting people into your world and mm-hmm. then queuing them they up. can actually so, yeah. decide whether yeah, they actually the want it or not because um you already shown so much with off, yeah. off your business yeah and in, and in part people will will know exactly what they're purchasing into or what they're buying into because you've shown we've shown so much already and yeah. and in some ways that was going to be my 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 point in terms of being positively impacted by instagram the fact that i think there's a zumba class going on upstairs you've got. <laughs> do, do, do apologize there's a gym that is the only downside to the studio is that there's a gym right above me and every now and then once or twice a week somebody does a ball slam right above my office right above my head on the floor and i'm like shall i go up there i don't want to be that guy that goes excuse me you're just doing that ball slam right above my head can you can you get the other side of the gym <laughs> At least you don't. Uh, at least you wouldn't say them, tell them to stop. <laughs> Just go and go, do it. Over. Can you go and do it in that corner? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um, um, so you may you may be able to hear that. I don't know if you will or not. But there's a zumba class going on above us. Okay. But, uh, sorry, Igor, I, I ruined your flow there. No, no, it's all good. Um, the flow is still there. Um, the whole idea of the business being impacted positively by, in some ways, my, my audience. My audience has been. Yes, you interrupted my flow. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was thinking, and I was. <laughs> should we rewind? Should we rewind it? But no, selling. We were talking about selling, weren't we? Yes, but then it went into a, a, a different aspect of not actually it becoming selling because you're just showing yourself, and and that was the point. And because you're showing yourself so much, um, it just allows to connect with your audience. In this case, to be specific, allow allow to connect with, with our clients in, yeah. in a such much deeper way, really, because. Um, we are constantly in their faces. We are constantly in yeah. their minds whilst they're scrolling. Oh, there's Sam again. Oh, there's, there's Igor again. Yeah. Um, we are constantly in their minds. And well, they're, small, they're just small reminders, aren't exactly. they? Little prompts. It's kind of like Sophie talked about this with a mailing list. And, mm-hmm. You know, I remember her saying about, you know, she emails like two or three times a week and she doesn't expect everybody to open the email. But, mm-hmm. but actually by just seeing the email land, yeah. she knows that it's just this constant. So that when they get to the point of purchase where they go, mm-hmm. oh, I need a backdrop for the shoot, they go straight away. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to go to Sophie. Yeah. You know. That's exactly it. And that repetition, that repetition of them constantly seeing your faces and seeing your work. Um, I've had it so many times at weddings. Um, you didn't pe- even show your face on Instagram. I know. Enough. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> Enough. Enough. Um, you get in um, there. You get in there. But... Um, but this is why you've got get, to have that like that consistent yeah, approach to it. That, that, because, that repetition. You know, people expect... This isn't just Instagram and photography. This is just life in general. People yeah. expect instant results with minimal work yeah, yeah. Uh, and, you know, effort from yeah. the beginning. You know, get that idea out of your head straight away. Yeah, yeah. You know, this is a, you know, Instagram shouldn't be something, it's not like a, there's no like fast diet out there that, mm-hmm. that's going to get you, you know, it's going to get you blown up in two weeks time. It just doesn't work like that. Yeah. You know. You need to let go of all the numbers, mm-hmm. let go of all of the, you know, accounts that you might look at that have got 450,000 followers. Yeah. Like, they're not, that's not real. Mm-hmm. That's not relevant to us. Yeah. You know, I think one thing we wrote down in our notes was like, one follower can be that's one it. customer. That's it. Yeah, you know, that's it. Like, when you put it in that context, if you've got two or 300 followers, you might look at your own account and go, oh, shit, <laughs> I've only got 300 followers. Mm-hmm. Well, that could be like, well, that could relate to 100 customers. Yeah that will give you money if you you know work for them that's it in some kind of way and bring <laughs> value and content to their yeah. daily scroll yeah um yeah i don't know where else i was going to go with that <laughs> <laughs> i was going to say i was going to say that um the whole repetition thing in terms of people seeing your work or seeing your face um it just allows it gives that fake association and the fake is not perhaps not the right word but it gives that association that people actually know you um, yeah. have you ever had that sort of situation where you oh. meet you're meeting someone for the first time and you kind of like but I, f- I feel like i know you yeah. i feel like i know quite a lot about you but it's literally the first time i'm meeting you and where does that come from it's literally that repetition yeah. that scrolling that we constantly see i mean we've got 
or we, by the time this episode goes out, I think we will have had Rebecca Carpenter in the studio, won't we? Um, and I've not yeah, met prob- Rebecca. Probably. Prob- I've never met Rebecca. Yeah, but I feel like I know. Uh, I feel like I'm. Gonna, <laughs> yeah, I mean she's brilliant, and but she's a again she's a prime example of somebody that has done incredibly well. And her business has done incredibly well. She obviously has the foundations there for a, mm-hmm. a strong business because she's passionate about what she does and, and cares yeah. about her work. But it's just amplified by what she puts out on social. And, yeah. you know, you look at any account or any business that, you know, on the surface looks to be doing really well out of this, mm-hmm. out, out of this landscape at the moment. And, and it's because they're, you know, it's a phrase that I can hear you saying all the time. They're all in. Mm-hmm. They're all in on it. Because yeah. they can see the results. Yeah, and they can see the benefit and the and the gains that can be had from it. Mm-hmm. And do you know what? In four or five years' time, we might have moved on. Yeah. It, the, what we're talking about here might become the Facebook of six years ago. Yeah. It might become the MySpace of 10 years ago. <laughs> but do you know what? Something else will have come along and we will have embraced that and, we've moved, and we move on. You know, if you want to just stick to your comfort zone of, you know, Facebook circa 2012, <laughs> you stick to it. But you might struggle for business. Yeah. Yeah. You know. It's going to be ever evolving. It really I, does. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know if we talked about this on the YouTube one. I, I mean, I, when we talked about marketing strategies, but you, know, you look at like the next generation coming through school and education and, and going into the real world over mm-hmm. the next sort of 10, 15 years, you know, I mean, I've bought, I've bought my kids at home an iMac recently. So, well, I bought us an iMac so that they can start doing a bit of video editing and yeah. they can start getting up to speed at the age of, you know, eight, nine, ten years old of being on an, on an iMac and, yeah. and computers. And I remember you saying, um, in some ways, uh, your granddad example of that um, yeah. in terms of how he sort of like built um, your family up and as, as that was a great yeah, example yeah. Of, yeah. Of, of seeing that really. But kids are going to come out of school and they're going to have like YouTube channels <laughs> like, you know, with, with tens of thousands of followers <laughs> like that. <laughs> they, they are yeah you know that that content creation yeah. and that ability to market themselves yeah you know, they're in they're because they surround themselves with it all the time it's going to become yeah instinctive to them whereas for our generation i mean i say our generations that we're really old we're not but for us it it hasn't been it isn't second nature we have to make a bit more of a concerted yeah. effort yeah. to to create that content and to put it out there. Yeah. But for the for these guys now, then they're, they're not. That's it. It's yeah. just going to be. Well, I've done it. It's fine. Yeah. Do you want to hear a fun fact? Go for it. You tell us. Go. Um, I guess what you're talking about is very much the creator economy, really. Um, all these sort of like YouTubers. I mean, the number and... has kicked up a notch there. <laughs> it was really it? did. <laughs> I was like, whoa. <laughs> um, but yeah, creator economy, really. It's yeah. <laughs> they're really going for it upstairs um how many times can i say creator economy <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um so youtubers tiktokers um just literally anyone that's creating online and earning from it uh, at this stage um just within the us it's worth 20 billion <laughs> 20 billion. I mean, 20 that's, a, billion. that's a better stat than my 27,000 people per square mile in yeah. New York stat, isn't it? 20 billion. And by the end of this year, yeah. Forbes reckons that it will five exit. So it will be <sighs> 100 billion worth of creator economy money. So creators are literally earning as a collective yeah. 100 billion at the end of this year. Wow. In the States? Yeah. States alone. <laughs> I mean, it's just a, a, a crazy number, isn't it, yeah. for creating content? Yeah, it's it's ridiculous, but it just shows you as well that the opportunities are there and it's growing. So it all goes to answer the latter point of of our conversation. Really, is it too late to go all in? No, it really isn't. It really isn't. By but... well, you've got to think. I mean, you've got to think. The reason that number is going to grow is because there are more and more people every year. Mm-hmm. You get a new wave of intake yeah you know more children becoming adults Mm -hmm. going into that world yeah you know it doesn't end yeah it really doesn't not only (laughs) do you get that you you know the 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 uptake at older generations is higher than it's ever been Mm -hmm. so it's just the numbers are just off the chart yeah it's like um there's 
Does Buddy play many video yeah, games? Yeah, he plays Roblox, yeah. But I was going to say Minecraft. We have absolute nightmares over yeah. it. It's just, it's, it's, it's horrendous. It's it's them too. Roblox yeah, yeah, yeah. and Minecraft are literally yeah. at the height. And the amount of money yeah. <laughs> that's being earned. Well, you can buy stocks and shares, can't you? Yeah. Both of them. I mean, you know, the, the, the fact that you can buy stocks and, and shares in a, in a computer game is just, I mean, years ago, you would have never have imagined yeah. it. Um, the numbers are staggering. They really, really are staggering, and and it's so niche as well. So, yeah, it just, it just shows really. But <laughs> so I suppose we we've kind of we've got you kind of we've kind of got a bit carried away with like those numbers are as astonishing as they are. How do we relate that back to you know just businesses, one man band, one, one man band kind of businesses that are just you know yeah suppliers in a certain industry or mm-hmm. field how, how does that relate what does what brings it back to them uh, it's the simple fact that um with simply your mobile fi- phone in your hand you can set up a shop you can set up a portfolio you can set up uh, almost like a website within instagram of everything that you can provide mm. of value to whoever your audience is and you can just build it that's that's yeah. that's the point really why do you think people aren't doing that what you know when you you hear those i'm thinking about those people that are a bit yeah. anti new technology why do you yeah. think they're what's stopping them just accepting that and the, and embracing it i think i think it's it's looking at at other creators and 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 seeing the numbers that they think that oh, i'll never get that um and and sort of like getting disillusioned not even starting because the fear yeah. the fear yeah. of starting and failing um when you're already comparing to whoever I, I mean i think we can all relate to that a bit can't we yeah yeah very yeah. much so even even the whole point of starting this podcast it's kind of like i was kind of like is it Should really worth bother? it yeah, yeah is it really worth our time um look there's so many podcasts out there and they're doing an incredible yeah, why job would anybody wants to listen to us <laughs> But should we bother? Yes, heck yeah, we should because there is so much more to be had out there, and and that sort of philosophy or mentality really goes to everything that we do, and uh, it goes to to our clients, it goes to the yeah. money that's to be had, and it goes to the pricing, and it goes to everything really. So, yeah, if we can instill something, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think I think those people that that find it hard to, you know, embrace the platform. And to and to and to go all in mm-hmm. to the platform, I, th- I think you made the, the right point there about you know just kind of separating yourself from those bigger numbers and accounts, yeah. and just accepting that you're not going to be at that stage. But you know you've just got to just start and yeah. and just keep turning up. Yeah, that's it. You know, but a year from I think oh, from can, today, if you can just accept that Instagram isn't just a somewhere that you just post photos to it. You know, it's you know it's a, it's like an all encompassing you know platform that allows you to market and sell mm-hmm. and promote your business and brand yeah like why would you not want to be a part of that yeah i mean it's just it's a no-brainer isn't it <laughs> it really is it really really is so and and again going back to the the previous point it's free <laughs> yeah it just takes time yeah it takes your time which isn't free but you know, it's a free platform. Yes. Um, it's again, it's the abilities that you you have to do with it. Really, uh, it's it's incredible. Really, but Bit um, of Calvin Harris on upstairs. <laughs> it's an absolute tune, though. That is. Which one is it? Oh, Hope Rihanna. Rihanna. Yeah. Rihanna, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's an Rihanna absolute club banger, isn't it? <laughs> do, 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 do. And wrapping up. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, wrapping up. Do we have any other points to make? Um, I don't think so, but... Let me skim through my notes. Yeah. Correlation. What was the correlation? Correlation between... The work Yes, no. Correlation between your posts and your inquiries. Yes. That's a good point. Yeah. Um, yes. Uh, Do you see a correlation between your posts and inquiries? This might be a fluke, okay? This might be a fluke. But um, especially... Yeah, this year this year and this hasn't happened all the time um and it's one of those things yeah okay this hasn't happened all the time but um there's been um a handful of times this year yep. where i've posted um about a specific venue and literally the following day again yep. inquiry for that venue um 
That's uh, not a coincidence. <laughs> that, <laughs> that is not a coincidence. Just letting you know, that's not a coincidence. <laughs> I'm, ju- I'm just saying that it doesn't happen all the time, but it does happen. Yeah. And I booked those two. <laughs> I've got something to say, Sam. <laughs> I had something happen to me the other day. Literally one of those. Um, I-, I got ghosted. <laughs> no. <laughs> Send me their email address. <laughs> I will get on their case. Literally, literally. How dare they? Um, we. we it, mate, happens happens to. I was going to say the best of us, but it sounds <laughs> makes me sound like I'm better than you. It's not what I no, mean. No, no, no. I know what does, you mean. It happens. Just I got, I got brutally ghosted, and that was going to be one of my other points. But yeah, I got brutally ghosted because. Yeah. Um, uh, the inquiry happened and conversation went in for quite a while a contract was sent invoices were sent oh, and everything God. else so that, it was that, quite quite that painful that quite is. invested really and south of france wedding you and... spent the money already haven't you, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, yeah, you <laughs> i've bought myself a new macbook oh um, shit uh, <laughs> uh, guys hello. 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 i'm still here yeah. and and yeah Everything was sent, and yeah, I just literally got ghosted. Oh, so, <laughs> so yeah, and um, but that's to say that sometimes, and I have noticed that in the past, sometimes the inquiries um, that you can get from Instagram can be not necessarily flaky, but very quick because you just yeah. get a quick DM yeah. sort of sort of thing. Yeah. Are you free? Uh, I mean, I, I still I still get the the age old. You know, can you send me your pricing? Yeah. You know, it always happens through Instagram. Yeah. You know. But actually, still get a lot of inquiry. You know, that's one. That's one end of the spectrum. The other yeah. end of the spectrum is that people go, "Find you on Instagram. I absolutely love your work. Exactly Been that. through your portfolio. You know, you seem like a really good fit for us. Like, and really quickly, you're yeah, booked, and that's it. You know, so it kind of goes both ways. You just have to accept that that's that's just that's the need. That isn't just Instagram. That's it's yeah. just the market. It's business. You're always going to get people that want to just inquire and find out prices. Don't be offended by it. Yeah. It's a totally normal way to inquire. <laughs> it, but it's often not the kind of client you, you want to work with, but mm-hmm. that's fine. Um, and and like, here's the thing. I suppose these are kind of closing points. Like, I think any good business and marketing strategy, it, it should never just rely on one specific kind of method or route yeah. of inquiry mm-hmm. you should always you know you find you get in that inquiry because you post an image to instagram and it tagged the venue is one just very small you know offshoot of that strategy you know mm-hmm. it might be that you blog that wedding and then somebody picks it up on you know google search yeah. or you know a venue recommend you or mm-hmm. you know the bride's sister tells one of her work colleagues who yeah. then books you or you know uh I don't know. It's endless. So, you know, it's endless. It's it really endless. is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. There's there's no one way of getting work. You should be able to spread your, you know, your reach across various yeah. channels. Yeah. And I love that. I love that because, you again, it's the whole anal- analogy of um, small gains and small increments. Increase this, increase that, increase that. And yeah. overall, it all feeds into the big machine that your business is, really. Um, which is incredible, really. We, we, it's it's exciting times to be doing business, yeah. isn't it? Oh, massively. You know, I know we're in a, I know we're in a difficult time, for like you know, with the <laughs> the cost of living and, mm-hmm. and all of that stuff that's going on. It's going to be very difficult for a lot of people. You know, we're in for a, you know, we're in for a bumpy ride. But at the same time, you know, I go to weddings and I, and there's still a lot of wealth. Yeah. You know, yeah. There's still a lot of work out there to be had. Yeah. You know, even just driving around town early, you look at some of the. You know the industrial sites that are going up around here in Derbyshire. And you're mm-hmm. like, wow, there's still a lot of money being spent. Yeah, you know, there's still a a lot to be had out there. Yeah. Um, you know, that went off on a tangent. No, no, no. It's great. It's great. I, I was going to say, let that encourage you, fam, because um, it's it's so easy, really, to be disgruntled, not disgruntled, but be yeah, downbeat. Uh, yeah, very yeah. much that. Very much you that. Have to, but it, again, it, it's it's about the content that you consume, isn't it? Yeah. If you, you know, I kind of did it in our break. I went and watched, looked on Sky News and like, God, it's depressing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, Go we on. talked about a, a pack, of, like a jar of Lurpak, a, a, a tub of Lurpak costing £9.35 in Tesco. How like, what has the world that? come to? I can't believe we've just said that. <laughs> Security tags on top of them. You know. So yeah, things are, things are difficult and it is going to be tough. But at the same time, you know, there's a, a huge world out there that you can yeah. market to and and reach and you know you either 
you are <laughs> either sit in the corner and talk about it or you roll your sleeves up and you go and get stuck into the stuck into the action and i'm yep. a i'm a roll your sleeves up kind of guy i don't know about you come on you let's go sleeves rolled up, oh so yes they are that says it all for me <laughs> on that note thank you very much thank great you. little chat see you soon guys see you soon yeah That's amazing on, wasn't it? yeah good ended really well <laughs>